right here. And what we're going to do today is install a light kit from Turbo SII. Now this thing has a 20 inch light bar and two uh, 4 inch spotlights. And so we're going to illuminate the trails uh, with hell amount of light here, people. Yeah, we're going to illuminate the trails <laughs> and next to the trails. And, and down the street from yeah. the trail. We will see the pumas coming. They won't see us coming, though. Yeah, yeah. Right. Gonna, they'll see us coming, but that's all they're going to see is it's yeah, going to be blinded, light, if you know what I mean. light at the end of the tunnel. So it's going to be us. Yeah. So uh, it's a really neat kit. It comes with everything you need to install uh, all this and a switch with just two wires, and everything works. It's really neat kit, Bill. Yeah, it's a pretty easy. It's pretty easy, easy, so simple that even Dorito, my, my purely platonic, uh, partner here can even do it himself. Yep. So, uh, let's get on with uh, this neat kit and we'll blind you in a minute. Let's get on with it. Shall we? <laughs> Sorry, people. You gotta listen to this. Hold on. <laughs> okay, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go. This is all we're gonna do. We're gonna go. And then we're gonna put this right here again. And, 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 and then bing, 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 bing. We're the good guys. Well, one of us at least. Okay, I'm glad you can join us for that part. And you'll thank me later. Trust me. light bar from Turbo SII. This is a really neat kit because it comes with everything you need to install a 20 inch light bar anywhere on any kind of vehicle. It comes with mounting hardware, brackets, instructions people. Instructions are very important. Always read the instructions. It even comes with this knee wiring harness people that makes it almost Dorito proof. Look it even comes with pre-made ends that all you gotta do is hook them up per those instructions we just talked about and you can have an all illuminating 20 inch turbo SII light bar on any vehicle of your choice. We just happen to choose to put it on a Rhino Tau Tau 250. Tell and me how long the cable is, Luch. The yeah. cable? The, 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 oh, the, you can wrap this around two Volkswagen bugs, people. This thing is huge. You can mount it anywhere on any vehicle, and it even comes with a switch, a toggle switch. It's really neat, people. Always recycle your plastics, too. It's important to save the planet. See, look at this. Everything you need. It even comes with a switch that says LED light bar. Or if you're an old guy like me, lead light bar. That was the band before lead Zeppelin. Now then, what are you laughing at? All right, guys. So we're going to have Lucha Cabra explain, explain the brackets and the kit to you, how this is going to work and how we're going to bolt it up, all right? Well, people, it's, it's simple. It, it's got this swivel bracket. Well, it it's got this swivel bracket here that just bolts on to the base right here, see? And you take two bolts on each side and you mount it inside there and it swivels and when you tighten right, right, right. when you tighten it up, it goes right wherever you want it. So it swivels like that, swivels like that, and you can pretty much aim it anywhere at the trail you want it. Yep, so we're gonna go ahead and bolt this down. Actually, the cool thing about this is the way the rack bolts up, there's Allen there's Allen head bolts right there. So we're going to oh, bolt it up. Oh, button heads. Little button heads. We're going to bolt it up on each one. Tau Tau's made little button head bolts. So we take the button head bolt, put the button head bolt in the bracket. Lock, and tighten it down. Lock tight it, of course, and then tighten it down. You see that? Right. Neat, huh? So it's going to work out perfect. So let's get on with this. We're going to go ahead and speed this and up. And it works the same way for the 20-inch light bar, people. So what you do for the small... Wow, earthquake. the small ones, there was an earthquake here in California. Uh, it, it works the same for both, the, the light bar and the pod. Yeah, so, so we're going to use two of these brackets on the direct front bolts here. And so one that's, that's going to bolt up. For each pod. And one bracket for each pod. So these pods are going to be actually angled this way and somewhat down. So it's not only going to get in front of you at night, it's also going to get a on big On the side so you don't see any brush on the side that's going to attack you. Or any cougars or pumas or 
lions and tigers and bears. Very true. So, you know, that's the one cool thing. I'd like to give a big shout out to Ur Turbo SII. They've made a complete kit here, baby. It's really neat. It's all straight into one switch. We're going to install this right now, and then we'll get back to you. So we're going to speed this up, a little bit of music, and... Now stick with us, people. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this. I know I am. So now that we got the brackets on, we got to tighten down the brackets after this, but what Luch is starting up is he's starting to mount the base of the unit, which you need to make sure... It's a you, unit! You use your supplied Allen wrench, the base of the light, and you make sure that that bracket down there is very tight. And then what you want to do is there's two little screw holes. Let me walk it over here. There's these two little screw holes right here on each side. And that's what's going to mount into the bracket for the adjustment of the height. Luch is getting those bolts right in there right now. So, take it away, Luch. It's a lot harder than it looks, people. <laughs> so basically, we're going to go ahead and get that. I'm going to tighten down these other brackets. We'll get that go ahead and, and done, and then we'll get set up because we got to have Luch cut a hole with a Dremel. You know, Power Tools and me aren't a good match. It's better him than me, folks. Stay tuned, people. All it's right. going to be scary. So we're going to speed this up again. Rock on. It's not only good, but it's good for you. An active drink for the active loot on the go. Yeah. All right, guys. Welcome back, people. Now we've got the lights on, we've got them mounted, we've got them adjusted. We got the cables ran up to here, and Luch has already ran the cables through. So take it away, Luch. We have taken the liberty of running these wires through our cowling and underneath to where the seat. Do you see? <laughs> underneath to where the seat will uh, eventually be. Uh, we've got both our uh, light wiring uh, uh, connectors here, and what we'll do is take each of these and connect them together. It's really easy. You just push. You can push it, okay? Like salt and pepper. Remember salt and pepper? Yeah, just push it. Push, push it, it real, real good. good. See, you just push it in there real good till it clicks. And then you can take the rest of your wiring and pull it through and make it aesthetically pleasing. Yep. It's really neat, people. Now, also, too, the switch is on this side, and Luch is going to be cutting with a Dremel. A what? Dremel. What? Dremel. 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 Right? Yep. What? Can Luch you see me? <laughs> Luch is going to be cutting on this side with a Dremel. Oh, you know, somebody asked me the other night, and they, they, uh, they mentioned in a live stream, they asked, what is a Luchacabre? And then he goes, well, a Luchacabre <laughs> is a goat wrestler. Right. <laughs> That's what I told him. Almost says, like a goat herder. He couldn't get it. So tell him about your goat wrestling. I've done some things in my past that I'm not proud of. Goat wrestling may or may not be one of them. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So let's get on with it. <laughs> let's go to mounting the switch, shall we? <laughs> I do want you to know that I went 23-1-1 one one in goat wrestling competition. Not saying anymore. We fight for freedom. We fight for the freedom to build buggies and ATVs and to drive them wherever we want, whenever we want. And we'll fight for the freedom for our families and for our families' families until we can fight no longer. And for the little ones too, pop a corn for the children. We fight for every freedom in our family. 
right. Oh yeah, and Heinlein too. <laughs> you know, people. If I haven't told you about Heinlein, Heinlein hot rods. Go check this dude out. He's like really. You know, I I play about being Lord God King Tard, but this Tard is really Lord God King. He can he can weld stuff together and fabricate and make crappy looking crap look really neat. That's so, true. So check out this dude because he's awesome. Heinrich Hot Rods, right? Right. Comment below. <laughs> oh, crap. He's got the baseball bat again, people. Watch out. Squirrel! Loose bomb! No small furbearing creatures were harmed during the making of this production. Wow, this is really neat. I think the Chinese plastic is winning here, people. <laughs> Well, I'm glad we're going to fast forward this. People, now we've got the uh, inside of our uh, uh, hole cut out. So we can now put in our switch, not our switch down here, and make it a real aesthetically pleasing looking uh, uh, installation. Uh, we took the plastic out. Thanks to Dremel. You served us well. Maybe not next time, though. Yeah. That was, <laughs> that was definitely a lot of work. A lot of work for a little thing. Yep. Now then. So we got our switch here. Remember, lead, light bar. That was a precursor to lead Zeppelin. And uh, we run it through the hole. Make sure it's going the right way, people. You got it right in there, and you just give it a push. And look how nicely that sits in there. Can you see that? Follow the finger, people. Look at that. It actually does sit in real nice. It sits in pretty neat. So, uh, you know, there's no, you're not going to be setting anything on top of there, that's for sure. But, you know, it, it, we had to place it somewhere, so we decided to put it there. That's where we went for. Instead of cutting to the body. And now you can take your uh, other end of the harness here and plug it in. And like we did with the other side, you just, you just take the uh, wiring and run it through to wherever uh, you want it to dangle. You know about the danglers, right, people? Yeah. All so right. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, stop this, and then we're going to move the camera around. While Luch, uh, so Luch can connect it to the battery and you guys can see that done. Okay, it's almost done, believe it or not. Stick with us, we're almost there, people. Welcome back, people. The last thing we have to do is make the connection to the battery. This is really simple, because there's only two wires. Red and black. Don't put the red wire on the black side, and don't put the black wire on the red side. Okay, it's quite simple, people. So, you make your connection on the positive side first. That's the red side, people. Always making sure that you have the negative side or the black side disconnected. That way you won't shock the crap out. Ah! I got you, didn't I? Just kidding. <laughs> well, also, too, we, we did have to take the 30 miles of line Thank you very much, Turbo SII. This is made for a car, really. Yeah, and we actually did put that under there in the tool pouch area. So now only the tool pouch and that pack of wiring will save. But we wanted to save the harness because it's really a nice harness. It is a one-step complete harness that, that takes care of any, any vehicle. You can mount this on any kind of off-road vehicle, people. It's a really neat kit. Can't say enough good stuff about Turbo SII. Yeah. So what we do have on this, and when we do, when he finishes up connecting, we're going to pull it out to show you guys how the lights are mounted, how they look, 
and we're going to turn them on so you can see. They actually really, we haven't plugged them in, into, or we haven't turned them on yet, but they actually look like they're going to do a really good job of lighting up everything in front of you. So we'll get that done in a second here. And as soon as Leach has finished it up tightening this, we'll get on this. Tighten it up. And there you have it, people. Well, now can we put the seat back on and the tool pouch in there? Oh, okay. <laughs> so we got the tool pouch in there. We got that on. We're going to slap the seat on, make sure. Okay, do you see me? Okay. What? We're going to put the seat on. Let's see uh, how that fits. Seat, yes. Cool. Okay. Fits like a champ, people. Stick with us, people. You may not be able to see anything after we're done. People. So we got the lights mounted, we got them wired up, the switch is illuminated as well. Um, so you can see it at night, it's yeah, really neat. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to step back and I'm going to let Luch turn them on and we're going to see what they look like. Alright people, so we got somewhat some light turned down, but uh, it, it's good enough to show you it's the It's not going to matter people, so this don't is look directly do. at your screen, I'm telling you. Yeah, okay. So this is going to be kind of hard to tell through the screen because of the brightness, but we just looked at it. It is pretty bright. I'm still so, seeing dots. Yeah, it is well here. So All right. go ahead and turn on turn on the headlights. All right. Luke. We have. That's the low beams. The low beams are right there, people. You okay. can see what it comes equipped with. All right. Now we have some high beams. Right there. A little bit better. Yeah, mediocre. They're, well, not gonna, they're not gonna light up the trail very well if you could see the reflection. You won't it. see any oncoming cougars or pumas that may be pouncing on you while you're riding. Maybe when they're about right here. You then know it's what I mean? too late. Yeah, yeah, then yeah, it's yeah, too yeah, late. Yeah. Boom. Rawr, rawr. Boom. Well, yeah, you're, you're, you're done for. Yeah. You're done for. Yeah. So what we've done is have, have equipped it. But leave those on. Alright. Yeah. With, with, with the rest of these lights. And warning for you people, don't look directly into the screen. Yep. So. This is how it looks now with our Turbo SII 20 inch light bar and two side work lights. And they are turned down to get the, the radius of where you're driving so it can be seen at night. It's not put up real high and stuff, but they're real bright. If you're standing about at this point and you look directly at them, you're gonna see spots. That's been, uh, I'm, yeah, it's real bright. So go ahead and turn them off, Luch. I like them like this. Yeah, I think they're pretty cool, actually. Let's leave them on for a while. Sure, let's run down the battery, shall we? All right. Anyways, back at the ranch. We're gonna turn off those lights, shut off the key. Now, it, it does have a l illuminated toggle switch, and maybe you might want to consider putting something else besides an illuminated switch on there because it will gradually drain on the battery if you're not going to be driving it all the time. But we're just going to unplug it at the fusible link and, it, and it'll be okay for storage. So no worries on that. Um, the one thing that I like about it being illuminated is that at night you can see it. You know right it's, where it is. People. Yeah, it's right there. And, and it's a neat the blue color so it matches the Tau Tau blue color that you already purchased. Yep. So anyways... As you can see in this crammed garage here, and I look like I'm way bigger than the Lucha Copper when I'm really not as big. You're huge! You're like a lumberjack! Yeah, but anyways. That's our 20-inch light bar and uh, two 4-inch uh, work lights, complete with harness and, and all the mounting kit. Uh, a really sanitary installation, people. Uh, check them out. It's from Turbo SII. We'll put a link down below. Uh, check them out. Uh, it's reasonable. It's a uh, complete kit, and you can't go wrong with something like this on any vehicle that you want to put it on, whether it, it, it be your Jeep, yeah, most definitely, or your Toyota, your Taco, or or whatever you uh, may four wheel drive. This is a great addition to anything. Yeah, that's the funny thing is, yeah, this is a little bit overkill. On a four for what we got, thing. you know. But the whole thing is, but is maybe not for what you got. We just wanted to show how you could put the lights on and how bright they actually are. And we're going to have to check this thing out. Now that we got it on, we're, we're pimping this thing out, and we're going to make it really, really cool. Pimp my ride. Yep, pimp my ride. That's so, right. Anyways, so go ahead and hit that like button. 
Smash that subscribe button if you already haven't. And, you know, thanks for coming to Dorito and Lucha Carver. We appreciate you guys. Keep checking us out. We do this for you. We love you guys. You rock. Peace. What? Are we done? Is that it? What? Oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> Sorry, man. Paparazzi. Ah, paparazzi. We're here at Dorito and Lucha Carver. Don't usually drink on the job. But this does good!